Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to calculate the future value of a lump sum. We're going to do this using the financial calculator, specifically the Sharp EL738 or EL738. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing I'd like to do in my calculator is to clear my memory. So I'll press second function and then uh, where it's written mode on top of it is written CA, which is clear all. And that has cleared my mem memory. Alternatively, you can press second function and then here it's written alpha and on top of it is written memory clear and then you press zero and then you press zero again to confirm. Okay, now that we've cleared our memory, let's take a look at the first example. And these examples, we did them using the formulas as well. So if you'd like to check the lessons when we use the formulas to calculate the future value of a lump sum, you'll find all the links to those lessons in the description below and other lessons on time value of money. Okay, so here we are told the first example is that John deposits 20,000 Rand into a savings account for a period of 10 years. This investment earns 8% interest compounded annually. We are asked to calculate how much he will receive in 10 years time. So what is a lump sum? A lump sum is obviously a single amount. So here the person is investing a single amount today and is going to wait for it until it matures in 10 years time. And we are told that it earns an interest of 8% per annum compounded annually. And when we're doing the formulas, we explain the theory in great detail. So you might want to check that one out as well. But we say that if it's compounded annually, then it's very simple. The number of years will be your N or your compounding period. And your interest rate will remain at 8%. And you'll see why I say that with the, when we look at the second example. So here's what you do in your calculator. You press the number and then you press the element over here. So you can see here it's written N, I slash Y, PV, PMT, as well as FV, and then here compute. So the first thing that we're going to start with is N. And N is the number of periods. So what is the number of compounding periods? Well, it's 10 years. So I'm going to press 10. And then once I've pressed that, I press the letter N over here. And then the next thing that I do is I got the interest rate. I press 8 because we are given here it's 8%. And then I press I slash Y. And then the next thing I press the 20,000, which is the present value because he wants to invest it today. So I press 20,000. And then I press here where it's written PV. And then the only thing that I'm left with uh, I'm left with is to compute for future value. Now I want to know how much it's going to be the future value. So I'm going to press here. It's written comp and then press FV. So when I press comp, I'm telling, I'm telling the calculator to compute for future value. Now you, what you'll see here is that the future value is a negative figure, not because it's going to be a negative return, but it's because I put the PV as a positive. So the PV in your calculator and the FV will have opposite signs. So if you put the PV as a positive, your FV will turn out as a negative and vice versa. So let's take a look at the second example over here. We're told that John deposits 20,000 Rand into a savings account for a period of 10 years. So it's the exact same example, but here we are told this investment earns 8% interest compounded quarterly. Calculate how much Peter will receive in 10 years time. Now here, we know that we have more than one compounding per period. So that will affect the N over here and it will affect the I slash Y or the interest rate. So remember with the interest rate, we divide it by the number of compoundings per year. And with the N or the number of compounding periods, we multiply the number of years by the number of compoundings per year. And that is what we explained when we look at the formula and how to do it using the formula. So here, what is our N going to be? So I'm going to show you two ways for you to do this, right? Here's one way that you can do it in your calculator. The first way is to tell your calculator how many times it's compounded per year. And we are told here it's compounded quarterly. And how many quarters do we have in a year? We have four quarters because a quarter is three months and we have four times three, which is uh, 12 months. So we have four quarters in a year. So that's what we have to do. We have to input that into our calculator. So I press second function. And then after I press second function, I'm going to press I slash Y because on top of it is written P slash Y, that is payments per year. And then I'm going to press four because it's compounded quarterly. And then I press enter. Once I've done that, I press the down arrow and you can see here compoundings per year is still four. So that is what I want to see. So now the calculator knows that it's compounded four times per year. Okay. 
now i clear the screen so i press on slash c and then now i put to the n what is the number of periods well since it's compounded four times per year the n will be the number of years times the four right so what do i do i put the 10 years because it's for 10 years so i press 10 and then i press second function and then i press n you can see it has automatically multiplied it for you it has multiplied the number of years times the number of compounds per year and it has given you 40 so i press n again to confirm that that is what my n is or that is the number of compounding periods okay i hope you saw that and then the next thing you put the interest rate what is the interest rate it's eight percent so we're just going to put it as eight percent but because the calculator already knows that it's compounded quarterly so it's going to take that into account and then i put the present value which is twenty thousand okay so we press present value and then all i have to do is now to compute for future values so i press where it's written comp and i press future value and there it has given us forty four thousand one hundred and sixty and seventy nine cents so if it's compounded quarterly what is going to receive at 10 years time is the 44,960 rand 79 cents okay i hope it's making sense here's the second way you can do it in your financial calculator what you need to do here let's clear the memory so i'm going to press second function and then clear all or mode and then now that i've done that it has taken out remember the default compounding per period in your calculator is one so it has taken out where we had input uh, quarterly so here's how you can do it manually instead of telling the calculator how many compoundings it is per year for, for you to have n you take 10 times four compoundings per year and you just press n okay and that's that's 40 compoundings and then for the interest rate you divide so i'll put eight divide by four compoundings per year and i put i slash y and then present value i put it as it is present value and then i just compute future value and they just given me the exact same answer so you can see i've shown you how to do it both manually and how to input the number of compounds in the calculator so that the calculator will do it for you let's take a look at the, at the third example here we are asked how much will you have at the end of five years if you invest ten thousand rand now with an interest rate of nine percent per annum compounded semi-annually so again i'm going to press second function clear all to clear my memory now you should know how to do this so let's do it the first way where we tell the calculator how many compounding cities per year here we are told that it's compounded semi-annually so how many how many times is it per year if it's semi-annually that's two times because semi-annually it's every six months so it's two compoundings per year so i'm going to press second function and then here it's written i slash y because on top it's written payments per year and i press two and then i press enter and then when i go to, when i press the down arrow the reason i'm pressing the downward arrow is to see that it says compounding per year is two and that is correct so now that the calculator knows that we're going to now input our uh, information over here it's for five years so here i'm going to press five second function and then i press n and you can see it's five times the payments per year it gives us 10 so i press n again don't forget to press n again because it won't confirm that that is the number of compounding periods if you don't press n again now it is inputted in the, into the calculator that that is my n and then the interest rate you just put it as it is it's nine percent and you press i slash y and then your present value is the ten thousand rand that you're given so that's the pv and then you just compute for future value and there you have it fifteen thousand five hundred and twenty nine rand sixty nine cents and that is how you get the future value when you've told your calculator how many compoundings it is per year and how do you do it manually well i'm sure you should know by now but the first thing that you need to do is to clear your memory so i put up i'm gonna play a second function clear all and there i've cleared my memory so how do we do it manually well i'm gonna press it's five years uh that it's for the five years the investment so i press five times two compoundings per year i press n and then for the interest rate i divide so it's nine divided by two compoundings per year I press i slash y and then i put my present value as it is we're given it's ten thousand rand present value and then i just compute for future value and there it has given me fifteen thousand five hundred and twenty nine rand sixty nine cents i hope this lesson has made sense and i hope you know how to do it using the financial calculator sharp el 738 if you have any questions or queries or any comments you can leave them in the comment section below otherwise if you have gained value from this lesson please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it to those you think it might help till next time cheers